Well, good morning. A little change of pace here. We're uh, getting some cars moved down to checking back. There's three cops here. They said there was this guy being really creepy trying to go in the women's bathroom here at Smiley's and all kinds of things. So, uh, we're headed down to Greensboro Auto Auction. The two cars, I'll show you when we get there. I loaded them late last night. Not late, but about 8 o'clock or so. And the owner was there. And uh, I know the guy. I've hauled a bunch of stuff for him. So we stood there and talked and got his cars loaded up. So I didn't film anything. But when I unload them, I'll, I'll show you because it's a two very, very nice. All four cars I'm hauling for him to this auction are very nice. Very nice. Very high dollar cars. So going to fill up here. Uh, I've had to make so many stops this morning. It's like I feel like I've got nothing accomplished since I've got up. But anyways, I'm going to uh, try not to get arrested. I'm not the creepy guy, I promise. Um, with all the cops, there's like four or five cops behind the building here. And um, finished getting fuel. I could have probably made it down there, but I didn't want to be short and have to stop again because I need to. I need to get down there, get unloaded. Because I got a deadhead all the way back up about five hours, pick up two more, and come straight back down to the auction for tomorrow. Oh, there goes one of the cops. There they go. Gosh dang Wienermobile. Alright. So here's the specs on this one. Nice red interior. It's 27,000 original miles I think it is. Beautiful. Letting it warm up a little bit. And then we got the Bandit Trans Am up here in the front. What do you know, it's the guy with the Amazon Prime trailer and the disco lights that I saw just look back at me and just walk into the store. He's been here for over 20 minutes I've been sitting here. <sighs> I'm only here because of the discount and sometimes it just ain't worth the time. Well, it's Wednesday. We finished this day out and we're pretty much done with our week. Found a nice little spot here. Very quiet, dark, but still a convenience store behind me. Love it. What a beautiful day to be riding through the hills of Virginia right now. I want to say this is 220, 81 to 220 to get down to Greensboro. This truck in front of me is gorgeous. I am a big fan of purple. I'm not a fan of the green. I love purple though. Beautiful truck. Anyways. So we're headed through the mountains here. I did not pack very well. I didn't realize it was going to go from 83 degrees to 36 degrees. And I didn't pack enough clothes. So I'm in the same sweatshirt as yesterday, but it's okay. I'm going home today. I did pack jeans, which is nice, but I didn't pack boots. I don't really wear sneakers with jeans. I don't know why I never really have. I'll usually like when I'm working, have my brunts on. 
uh, just because they're comfortable and they keep my feet warm. But I'm in sneakers, which is rare, but it doesn't. This guy has passed me, and then I've passed him, even though he's on the white line. Okay, you can have half of my lane if you'd like. He's passed me, and I've passed him about six times in the last 30 miles. Same with, I've been behind this, this uh, purple Peterbilt since I pulled out of the, uh, we got fuel at a little, little mom and pop. We got 33 cents off a gallon with mud flap, which is awesome. So I filled up there. I was checking the straps on the cars. The guys came out that were working in there. And then they saw the cars because they are pretty, uh, pretty beautiful, which I'll show you today because Again, it was dark last night when I loaded, the owner was there, so. Um, I'll show you those, but same owner as the last two, and I am bringing his Mustang back. It's a fiasco, and he has a very bad taste in his mouth about it, which I don't blame him because everything that is I don't know how to explain it. Everybody who is involved, either the previous owner, the owner, and the auction itself agree on one thing, but a private inspector agree is, is adamant on a different thing, which it's uh it's a little weird. But it is what it is. He's he's not happy. Um it's kind of one of those things where someone has a job and their job is to find something wrong to make themselves look better and he just happened to be the target and uh it's probably it couldn't happen you know to a nicer person to get and then it gets just gets screwed like that but anyways long story short we're just gonna bring it home uh, so I'll unload two down here and reload the one Mustang that I brought down and uh, just bring it back to his garage so he can figure some things out because now this inspector's information is out there which cuts down on the value of the car by about $40,000 hence why he's upset and uh, it's just it is what it is. Uh, he's, you know, he's prepared to deal with it, uh, but it's just he, he's upset, and I and I get that. So um, I'm going to just unload, reload it. They know I'm coming, so uh, I shouldn't be there that long. I did pass a reliable truck this morning on the way down on this road 220, which is kind of a two. I guess you could say like a four-lane backcountry road that cuts down from Virginia into North Carolina. A lot of hills, kind of slow moving if you're if you're heavy or get behind a couple trucks. Uh, there was a reliable truck that passed me about I don't know 15, 20 minutes ago. So I'm sure he'll be there unloading. I saw an open carrier another uh, maybe 30 or 40 miles back must have been still asleep but he had an open seven car with probably four or five classics on it so i would assume he's coming down here too so there may be a wait to get into unload they have it depends what size trucks are in, a, are in there anywhere between three to four to maybe six spots depending on how many um they do have other parking across the street but um, you got to walk back and forth and with my cars they go inside directly inside so I, I got to unload that front parking lot it might be a little bit of a wait but whatever now I'll be there in about an hour and uh, I'll see you guys there alrighty time to get these beauties unloaded nice little orange 350 Camaro and the showstopper 
454 Chevelle. Red on red on red on red. These things look good together. A little bit of crawling around. Perfect side door. Be able to get in. Took the key out of this thing. This is a 1970. a little bigger of a body car so I put this one up front though because of the skirted fenders over the tires are harder to strap but with this side door I can get that back tire a little easily but see if we can't get this one backed out of here once it warms up a little bit Eight hundred and seventy eight miles on the odometer. Ugh. Let's get up in here. It is cold today. Gonna have to get my winter gear in the truck. Some little warmer gloves. Metal, metal on the straps and everything. It gets a little cold. Ugh. It's so much easier with these older cars that have big doors. You can slide in frameless, frameless windows. All right. Let's see if we can't get this old girl fired up here. This one warm up a little bit. And as quick as I brought it down here, as quick as it's gonna come back with me. Let's get her strapped down. This thing is narrow. We're centered over there on that rail. A little narrow. <laughs> 